What's up, everybody? It's Kevin Wilson with the Normative Experience. Happy New Year. I hope everybody's having a great start to their 2020. Now, in today's video, I'm talking about New Year resolutions, why I dislike them, and what I think we should do to change them. Now, like I said, I don't like New Year resolutions. I don't think that they're effective, and I don't think that the motivation that comes from a new year is enough to sustain whatever uh, goal it is that I, I'm setting out to accomplish, right? For me, the excitement that comes from a new year just isn't enough to motivate me and just keep me um, pushing towards whatever goal I set. So, Kev, you don't like New Year resolutions. What you do, you just don't set any goals, you just stay the same? No, instead of doing new year resolutions what i'm focusing on now is setting um god-centered lifestyle changes right and i think when we put god at the center of our goals and our lifestyle changes it becomes easier and it becomes um more purposeful right so if i say i want to get in shape which is what i actually want to do and um like i started working out last week but if i say i want to get in shape next week that ain't like Next week, February, March, April, May, June, that's not gonna be enough to, sorry, these trucks. But yeah, like February, March, April, May, June, that's not gonna be enough to motivate me, the fact that it's 2020, that's just not gonna be enough. Um, but if I say, I wanna get in shape, God, my body is a temple, my body is a place where I want you to abide, my body is um, a gift from you, and I wanna honor that by being healthy, eating what I'm supposed to, um, getting in shape, exercising, and taking care of it so that one, I can just honor you with my body and worship you in that way. And two, um, I can be here on this earth for as long as possible so that I can fulfill the purpose that you've put in me. Once you think of it like that, it becomes different. It becomes, at least for me, much easier to go to the gym when you're saying, this ain't even for you, bro, it's for God. Like, like for me, getting a six pack is just not motivating enough for me to keep going to the gym, for me to keep eating right, for me to not eat the stuff that I really want to eat. It's just not enough. Like, I, I don't care that much. Like, I'm gonna be honest, like a six pack and all that is cool, which I'm about to get it, don't just wait on it. But that's not motivating enough. For me, it's, it's God. I want to honor you with my body. I want to take care of it to the best of my abilities so that I can live as long as possible so that I can do what you called me to do. That for me is like, okay, go to the gym bro like you don't even feel like it but it's not even about you this is not uh this is this is really beyond you like it's above you uh for real and so when i think of it like that it changes things and yeah that's all i had i just wanted to drop that thought real quick um hopefully you guys pick that up matter of fact leave a comment with the god-centered lifestyle change that you're gonna um pick up and and you know what you're gonna be doing in 2020s and so yeah it's gonna be a great year um god's gonna do a lot of great things through it so i appreciate you guys for watching Remember to make today worth living. Peace.